See, it's a perfect resistance. The market acted at this level as a resistance. Then we had 529. See, and this one acted as a resistance as well. Hi there guys, welcome back. This is Kishoria, founder and CEO of Trade Achievers. So in today's topic, we are going to talk about the magic of numbers in the financial market. Uh, so many has you know, a question, how this market moves, whether it is moving because of uh, the volume or whether it is moving because of technicals or it is moving because of fundamentals. See, the important thing in this market is the market moves because of numbers. So it can include uh, volume, open interest as well. And there are certain numbers which governs the market's uh, momentum. For example, we have one uh, number trading which is called as Fibonacci retracement. So in case if you are trading in technical analysis, you would have come to know about what is Fibonacci series. What are the numbers of Fibonacci like 23.6 or 38 or uh, 50 or 61.8%. So these are Fibonacci numbers which moves around the market. And it helps us to understand where the market will be coming in the next uh, future days. So that is one part of the story. And then what today I'm going to teach you a technique uh, using Fibonacci numbers, how to identify a support and a resistance using simple number calculation. See, from our school days, we would have learned about a mathematical calculation called as square roots. So the square root is nothing but uh, just a multiplication of the same number. So we are just going to apply that number into the uh, stocks and uh, forex market. So we'll just apply it and we'll see how the market beautifully it uh, forms a support and resistance according to that numbers. All right. So let us get into the video and let's watch it out. So guys, uh, <clears throat> so as we can uh, see from this, this is Access Bank. So I'm going to show you how the magic of numbers how the square root works as a support and a resistance in the financial market. So, for an instance, let's take this bank and uh, this is your list of square root numbers. So, uh, so from this we can see that Axis Bank at the low it came near 280 till the uh, top was around 820. So we'll just go to that particular number. So we can see 17 times 7 is 289. So that acts as a support. So if you just plot it at 289. So you can see the market just landed near the 289, which is 17 times 7 and it has taken a support. And the next number is 256. So we'll just plot it out. Sorry, uh, the upper side is 324. See, now uh, don't get confused because uh, this is weekly chart. So if you change this to a daily chart the uh, and one hour chart, the support resistance line will be bigger. Since this is weekly chart, the, uh, no, the lines may be appearing very close, but in a lower time frame, these support resistance acts in a very precise manner and it's a long way. So as you can see that 324 acted as a perfect support and even 289 acted as a perfect support. So we'll get, we'll get back to weekly chart. So in the weekly chart, next one, it comes around 361. Yep. So we can see that 361 acts acted as a support as well. So this was a support and this was a support and you can you see that a candle swing exactly came up to 361 and again it bounced back. So it acted as a support. So we can just uh, check for the top levels as well. Top levels around 480 uh, near 530. So 484 and 529. So 484. <coughs> See, it's a perfect resistance. The market acted at this level as a resistance. Then we had 529. See, and this one acted as a resistance as well. So as you can see, we are just plotting the square root numbers and 
this square root number is acting as a support and resistance perfectly in the markets even, even at the top so it was trading around 800 till 600 so at the top was 841 and 784 784 see 784 was acting as a resistance and then we had uh, 729 So 729 was acting as a resistance over here and it was acting as a support over here. And then we had around 677, 676 and 625. So 625, see a perfect support and 676 and a perfect resistance. So now this chart may look, uh, no. A bit of too much of lines but this is a weekly chart remember that if you change it to a lower time frame it's a long way so we can see from the square root numbers it actually acted as a perfect support and resistance near every point <coughs> see so this is what I was telling you and one more thing what we can add up is all these level acts as a perfect support resistance as well as all these level acts according to Fibonacci numbers as well. So if you are a technical trader, you would have known about another number which is called Fibonacci series. And even from that, we can uh, understand this market works as according to numbers. See, for example, see, so when we plot from swing low to swing high, exactly the market took a support near the 786 that is around 78.6 percent and even this line was acting as 61.8 percent retracement level and all these level acts as a support and resistance as well so this is what i wanted to show you guys that uh, square root even a, a number like square root which we used to learn in our no school it acts as a perfect support and resistance in the market. Not only that, if uh, if you're going to take some other script, let's say if you take Hindustan Unilever. Now Hindustan Unilever is just uh, going through a trend line, and it is taking a support and it's moving on. So we'll just check uh, what is the price, and we'll try to plot support resistance using square root. See, uh, twenty six hundred to uh, two thousand. <coughs> so 26 not 1 51 times 51 or 2061 was your resistance so we had a perfect resistance at the top and then we have uh, 2500 cause another resistance and after that we had 24 not 1 See, all these levels are acting as a perfect resistance to the market. And then we had uh, 2300. See, a perfect resistance. <coughs> so even if you come from the lower side, so it was around 1700 over here and from 1700 you can see it is 1764. See, it acted as a perfect support. So from this chart, even we can understand that market works according to numbers. So even after 1764, uh, we had a support over here that was around 1900 level. So just go and check around 1900, that is 1936. So around 1936, it was a support. See, this area was acting as a support. So as I said earlier, even the Fibonacci works as a support and resistance. See, if I take my Fibonacci level and try to plot the uh, Fibonacci. So I'll just change it to this side. See, you can see from here, this Fibonacci level and the support 
was at the exact level around 50 percent retracement level was acting near the square root level both were acting as a perfect support level so from these things we can understand the market always respect numbers so the market moves and markets no go up and it comes down because of certain vibrations so that is what we call it as laws of vibration in the market so whenever the market hits a certain number there is some kind of a vibration it creates a certain amount of volume it can be a supply or a demand and the market fluctuates at that certain point and that one of the number method is the square root number even in this scenario it is around 2170 so it's uh, 2200 <coughs> So 2200 see in the current market we can see 2209 that is uh, 47 times 47 this is a perfect resistance just near the current market level so guys you can see from this chart this is a weekly chart and we can see exactly where the market is taking a support and resistance so every time the market hits those certain level it acts as a perfect line of support and resistance but one thing I want to tell you is this is just a little bit a form of support and resistance. This is not a perfection of support resistance. Through my experience in trading, what I uh, was able to find out is we can extract these inputs from uh, the number trading. And after a long time of research upon this technical analysis, I was able to find a way to plot out the support resistance in a perfect way and that is what we teach our students in trade achievers so in case if you want to learn those things you can uh, just give a call to the number which is given below they'll help you out on what we teach and the things which i mastered i help uh, the other students to learn about it and implement those things in the market so in case if you want to join we have our coming classes on uh, <coughs> Bangalore and that is on November 5th so November 5th we have classes on Coimbatore and Bangalore full day classes will be there and then we have a full day workshop on 7th of November for Chennai in case if you can't uh, come for direct classes you can always come for online classes so 11th of November so you can always uh, enroll for those uh, online classes as well. So as you can see from this video, you could have understand that market works according to numbers. So there is no such thing as market goes in uh, direction without any cause. So there is always a reason for the market to move, whether it is going to go up or it is going to go down. There is always a reason for the market to go and touch a certain particular number and come down. It is all because of laws of vibration. And the laws of vibration has plenty things to understand and that is what we teach in different methods of technical analysis almost 14 subjects are there to understand where the market fluctuates and where the market turns and where the market breaks and how the market moves so this is what we teach people all right so i hope this video was helpful guys so thank you very much for tuning in take care